Welcome to Hard Nerd Cafe. I'm Dan, and as you see, I have plenty of silver points. I'm gonna do some shopping. First, I'm gonna get the Spirit Panda. I hear he's good. And then I'm gonna buy this deck. Oh, I got a new castle. But this is what the main thing is. I'm gonna buy this legendary bundle and open it. Free legendary. Let's hope I get something sweet. Buy it. It's time to open some packs, people. Open the legendary pack. What's in it? It's Brynjolf! On the turn, Brynjolf, each time he slays an enemy, he may move and attack again. Uh, so he can pretty much just run over everything. Oh, sweet. This seems good too. Okay, now it's time to open these special packs. What's so special with them? The Jutsu Scroll. Alpha Strike. Can I look at that again? Yeah, that card is... I have been beaten by that card before. Kuru, I think I have him. Two's. Stuff. Moving on. Final strike. For this turn, give you a plus six attack and on hit return to your hand. That should be good to um, get back the health. If you have any sweet builds you want me to make, I'll go through my collection after this and we'll look again. So if you have any suggestions for a deck to build, I am all ears. Three less gold next turn. That's land destruction. Is it worth a card though? Training ground. On hit, gain plus two attack. That seems sweet. I have a hard time finding the balance between buildings and creatures. So if you have any hints on that, please let me know. So does this apply to every time he hits or just once? And is to draw a card on hit or when you cast this? I think it's when you cast this. Ragnar! Yeah, we just saw him beat the crap out of us. Cloak of Flames? Or Vampire's Rare? Skeleton. Okay, so he really does four, but only when he attacks. That seems pretty good. Okay, moving on. Got plenty of packs to burn here. Inferno seems to have been interesting. That's a lot of damage. Well, near that, that's really strong. We have seen that play. Brynjolf's Blessing! Whenever the target is slays an enemy, it may move and attack again. This cannot occur more than three times, but doing it three times is probably the game. 20 packs to go! I'm trading post. So now we have two, that's sweet. Battering Ram. 7 damage to an enemy target for each unit you have next to the target. That seems like a lot of setup, people. The search. Were they rare? I think I have two searches already. Maybe I have two of every rare now. It will be interesting to see what my cleanup gives me. 
power of forbidden knowledge. Oh, that's a deck. Play big guys. Burn the people with small decks. It sounds like a cyborg card, doesn't it? If there is a card I'm opening here that you want to comment on, do so in the comments. Slice and dice, I'm not sure what it does. Two damage, inflict bleed two and inflict. Yeah, that's four damage, right? And slow. And then it's more than four damage because it bleeds at the end of every turn, I think. Another blessing by Brynjolf. I really should be playing Vikings as I am Swedish. Infinite knowledge. I know that card is not as good as I think it is. Flame knife doesn't feel rare. Maybe because I had two in my draft deck. Five damage to a building or three damage to a unit. Wow! Yeah, that was great. Hammerage. Suffer 3 damage per tile moved. Okay, that was interesting. So you could like lock a damage uh, a unit in place, but not totally. Isn't this a lot of acceleration? And you also get a card. That seems good. That seems really good. We are going further. Brewery. Seven packs to go. Six packs to go. So many duplicates, but given that you can clean them up, it's uh, it doesn't feel too bad. card was the, the rare. Okay, opening the last three packs. Pillage, Ancestral Favor, Pillar of Annoyance, Cloak of Justice, Cloak of Flying Daggers. Interesting. Arson, Disembowel, Courthouse, Cynical Page, Neosh. Okay, that's it. Let's go clean up uh, my cards. Cards. Clean up. 1605 cards. You know what that means? That means we can get a second Crovax. Is that his name? There. Craxus is his name. Sorry, I'm just inventing new names for him all the time. We are creating one of those. So now we have two, and that's the basis of any deck, isn't it? I am gonna look at my at the deck I wanted to build. Oh, go to the decks, the Eddie's deck here, and see what we were lacking. We, it was not supposed to have incinerates. It was not supposed to have a library. We wanted a searing light. Which we now have, right? So we can put them in here. Where are they? Oh, it's... Yeah, there they are. Nice. We wanted the second vampire, but I think we got that, yes. Uh, divine knowledge. Did we find any divine knowledges? I don't think we did. On hit, draw a card. That seems sweet. Uh, 
No, we don't have divine knowledges. And the second stalker. Surely we found the stalker. Oh, not the firewall. Yeah, we did find the stalker. Oh, wow. Now we have one too many cards, which does not fit in. What's that? So where did the stalker go? Yeah, now I have 29 cards. What am I missing? Okay, let's go through it here. We need two heals, two mercenary, two courthouse, two repairs, two searing lights, two vampires, two divine knowledge, and that's what we do not have. So we have to replace it with something. And I think the, the fair thing to replace it with is that one mana spell that does one damage and draws a card because it will just help us cycle through the deck quicker. The Dark Bolt. So that's the current state of this deck. And now we're looking to complete the Mono Mercenary deck that's uh, much more powerful. It's lacking a lot of cards, but I'm gonna try to build it. Anyway, new deck. Uh, and we are Crusaders. Uh, I guess you choose the second faction, yes, always, because... Oh, you don't, because it's a Mono Crusader deck, so... That will help sorting to just choose that. Uh, we need two mercenaries. Uh, two vampires. They were three, right? Weren't they? Two churches. Uh, okay, they are given in creatures building spells. Okay, let, let's do it in the order it's the card list is. Here's the card list if you want to see it. This deck. Uh, pause here if you want to review the card list. Getting vampires. Uh, snipers. Uh, stalkers. Headless Guardian, uh, Knight of Flowers, oh we have two Knight of Flowers, that's pretty awesome, we, hey we're building this deck, Craxus, Joan Viv, I don't have him so I think I'm gonna replace one of him by, I think I'm gonna replace him with his Keepers. I don't know how good they are, but they looked kind of good to me. Uh, and two rangers, but we only have one, so we'll replace one with the legionnaire. Time for the spells. Revive is the first spell we want two copies of. Don't know the casting cost of that, so I have to start at the start. Revive, looking for revive. We're also looking for repair. Revive and repair. There is repair. Revive. Oh, heal for six. That's worth a card, is it? Uh, repair and convert. There are two repairs. Okay, we're looking for convert and the Holy Grail. And eternal life. Convert Holy Grail Eternal Life. Convert Holy Grail Eternal Life. We don't have any of those. That's a shame. Hmm. That's a lot of cards missing. So I'm gonna play my favorite card, which is probably not any good. The library. And put in... 
him what? Perch. Probably drawing a card, costing one mana. Seems decent. And heal. Okay, so this is my attempt at Mono Crusaders. It's good to have two decks, I think. Though they are both Mono Crusaders. If you see... Okay, should can we actually get an, an overview of the cards? I'm gonna do a brief overview of the cards. And if you know a deck I should build, please tell me. I would love to do a Viking Ninja build, but I don't know if that is any good. Wow, this is really a bad way of showing all the cards. Ragnar and Brynjolf. Let's look at the ninjas then. At least I got the Spirit Panda. Hmm. Uh, you've seen the Crusader cards. Pirate cards. And then the Warlocks. So much burn. I love it. And my colorless cards. So please let me know if you have a favorite deck that you like, that you think I could build. Tell me. 430 shards is not enough to build anything uh, that matters, is it? Thank you for watching.